to find the sine of the inverse cotangent of 3 over 4. And what we can do here is uh, a little bit different here. Um, cotangent inverse uh, 3 over 4 is equal to x. Let me rewrite this as cotangent of x is equal to 3 over 4. Split them up. And what's going to happen here is um, we don't really know what uh, value of x exactly gives us 3 over 4. I just know that because it's cotangent, it's going to be between 0 and pi. And as a result, I know that cotangent is x over y, which means that I'm going to have 3 for x, and then for y, I'm going to have 4, and then down here. And we don't know this exact radian value, but that doesn't matter. Um, because we'll, we have, we'll have whatever result that we gain from that <clears throat> for the radian value. We just plug that in. Well, we take the sine in this case. Uh, sine is going to be opposite over adjacent, so r, but uh, we need to figure that out. So it's going to be 4 squared, we use the Pythagorean theorem, plus 3 squared is equal to r squared, and simply r squared is equal to 25. And then r, the absolute value, is just going to be 5. So in this case, um, we're just going to take, okay, sorry, uh, opposite over adjacent, so I know r is equal to 5. So it's simply going to be 4 over 5. That's it. That's the solution. Yep.